Welcome to the fourth Leica GS07 quick start video. This video focuses on connecting to the internet using a SIM card within the CS20, starting with looking at our advice setup. Now our advice is, if possible, to use the Leica Smart Connect SIM that is included in the SmartNet pack that came with your GS07. Use of this SIM is included with the GS07 SmartNet trial period, and once the trial has expired, it's possible to continue using this SIM card as part of a SmartNet subscription. Additionally, the SIM card can even be used without a SmartNet trial, but for this, an account must be created at smartnetna.com store. Alternatively, a self-sourced SIM card can be used, provided that it is on a M2M data plan, such as those from AT&T or T-Mobile. Just remember to use an authorized dealer and get a full size SIM card. Our next step is to insert the SIM card. We do this by removing the battery from the CS20 and accessing the SIM card slot which is behind the cover in the battery compartment. Once we've inserted the SIM and replaced the battery, we can look to get this working. The first thing we'll need to know is our APN. For the Smart Connect cards, this is M2M005 125.attz. For other SIM cards, this information can be found from the service provider. Once the APN is discovered, it is advised to add it to the quick start documentation. Next, we'll use a software wizard in Leica Captivate to activate the internet connection. To do this, we go to Settings, Connections, Internet Wizard, select to edit the current settings, select to use the internal 3.5G modem, Leave the device as a default one as shown here. Leave the network type as automatic and press next. We can now enter any SIM card pin or PUC codes, but for Smart Connect, we'll leave this blank. Then after pressing next, we can confirm that we want to use GPRS and press next again, where we can now enter in our known APN. With that entered, we can press next to view some additional options. However, we'll leave these unchecked and press next to confirm that we have successfully connected to the internet. It may now take a few moments for these tests to all finish and checks to be completed, but once they are done, we can press finish to end the process, check that the internet status icon has no warning symbols, and bring this video to a close. Thank you for watching.